how are you doing? Um, I'm in a different part of my summer house today. I thought I would show you this lovely unit. It's, um, it's an Ikea Expedit and I was saying I need something like an Ikea Expedit to fill this gap in the summer house for more storage. And then the next day we were at our rehearsal studio and Stephen quickly called me up and went, quick come here! And there was one just being given away. So uh, we've put it in and it's got all the lovely storage and lots has changed in my summer house but I'm going to do a summer house tour uh, maybe next week or the week after. I've already started filming it because it's so tidy at the moment. <laughs> I don't want to like leave it a couple of weeks and then be like no it was so perfect. It's the best it's ever going to be at the moment. So yes um, I am here for a fabric haul which is very exciting um, but what's even more exciting for me is this it's all from my stash, which is completely unheard of in these fabric hauls for me um, because I've got a bit of a fabric buying addiction. But yes, I did it. I haven't bought fabric since July, I don't think. So I'm just, I'm very proud. Apologies if my right eye looks a bit odd. I had a scratch cornea. <laughs> It was a really stupid thing, but Monday morning I woke up and I was in absolute agony and soon I was in the eye hospital. I have spent the last two days in dark sunglasses with all the lights off. I haven't been able to look at any sunlight or screens and today's the first day um, that I'm okay to do that. But you might see it's just still a bit kind of small and red. <laughs> so I thought I'd wear my glasses for this because I'm not allowed to wear contacts or makeup. So I'm in my glasses, no makeup, this is just me doing my fabric haul. I'm now much later on in the evening and the light has changed, but I had to tell you what I'm wearing. I am so excited about what I'm wearing because the lovely girls at Sew Over It offered me an advanced copy of their new ebook and I really was over the moon because this ebook is amazing. Check it out now, it's out now. Uh, it's called the City Break ebook, The Capsule Wardrobe. And Lisa Comfort has outdone herself with this book. It's just amazing. Every single pattern in there I love. There's five patterns, but there's kind of two options of nearly every one. And uh, oh, it's just gorgeous. So I'm wearing the Molly top, stripey, and the Erin skirt. And you can't see it at all. So I'll put in a picture because I've just done a blog all about it as well. And did a little photo shoot out by Stephen Summerhouse because it's the perfect backdrop for things like this. Um, so it's nautical chic again. You know, I love my nautical chic. And it was a really super quick and easy make. I got the ebook on Monday night and I was printing it on Tuesday morning with my one eye, going, how am I gonna sew? But I managed it, so the whole of yesterday and this morning I was making these and the top probably took a couple of hours and the skirt maybe four or five. Um, but I love it, I love all the top stitching. I'm gonna show you the top stitching. And the yellow buttons. Yeah, beautiful. So thank you very much, Sew Over It, yay! I have been quite organised this month and I've started plotting in my 110 creations book uh, which I know a lot of sewists use now. It's a sewist notebook, it's by um, Beth Brigg. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And it's just great. I've been planning lots of things in here. I've got my measurements. I've been planning things in here over the last year or so, but I keep kind of forgetting about it and then going, oh yeah, I should just plan my projects instead of just, you know, trying to work them out as I go along. And because of this vlog, it has become easier to plan my projects. So I got the book out and I planned properly. So the first thing I really want to make is, you can't even see that, so I don't know why I'm showing it to you, but um, it is a wiggle skirt in this amazing electric blue cut out fabric. Oh, I'm so in love with this fabric. I just think it's the most beautiful thing. Um, car boot find again, but this is a few months ago, so I didn't buy it recently. <laughs> um, it's been in my stash for a little while and I've been kind of looking at going, what am I gonna make you into? Um, so I thought just a really cool high-waisted wiggle skirt um, with some kind of lining underneath, maybe like just a cream lining so that the um, whole 
holes really pop. Um, I don't know, you guys are really good at this, so can you tell me what colour would you line this with? Um, and what would you make with it? But I think I am going to make a wiggle skirt, but you might have some other ideas that I'll be like, ooh, that's better than my idea. Which is a recurring theme, actually, because there's definitely things where I've had ideas and then other people have said, oh, I would so make this, and I'm like, yeah, me too, that was my idea too. <laughs> So, beautiful electric blue fabric. Love it! I've always wanted to make something out of cutouts and now's my chance. Yay! Oh, I have a bit of a theme again today that I'm trying to make things in planes because I have so many prints in my wardrobe and I'd love things to go together. So um, I'm trying to make some planes this month and I'm also going just for separates. No, no dresses at all. I wear separates a lot and, um, and I just need things to go with other things that I have. And I'm trying this month to go through the big epic clear out of my wardrobe wardrobe where I take out everything I didn't make and unless I really really love it I'm gonna give it to charity. I always reach for things that I've made so I just thought there isn't really any point in having any ready to wear in my wardrobe because I'd never wear it. So that's the plan. Another part of that plan is the planes and this gorgeous emerald green poly crepe because I was at Kilburn car boot and there was no fabric I was being a little stubborn mule and I said well I'm still going to buy fabric today because that was the plan and uh, so I went to rainbow fabrics in Kilburn and this was two pounds a meter and it is poly crepe but it's gorgeous quality and I love it it's got such a nice drape to it and I love this color I just absolutely adore emerald green. I think it's one of my favourite colours. Um, so this is going to be a lovely pleated skirt with a nice waistband. And I think I'm going to try and make a sort of matching top to go with it. So maybe similar to the Sapphire Simple Sew pattern, which I love, I'm going to make maybe a short crop top and then a nice pleated simple skirt and I can wear them together or I can wear them separately. Um, but I can't wait to make that. It's so pretty. Next on my list to make is something that I said I was going to make out of another fabric and I haven't had a chance so it's kind of jumped the queue with a new fabric <laughs> and that is Tilly and the Buttons Marigold pattern. Now I really love this pattern the moment it came out and Rosa from Sewn was jumping around in it on our Instagram feeds I was thinking this is going to be a pattern that I would love to make. Um, I love jumpsuits and I just think this is really classic. So I'm very lucky because I work with White Tree Fabrics and um, they let me produce lovely things for their blog and uh, so I thought I would get the marigold from White Tree because it came out that week and I was like oh that's what I really would like and um, and this lovely fabric I'm just taking it out of its wrapper now and it's from Art Gallery Fabrics who I absolutely adore. It's a really lovely voile and uh, I guess you would call it some kind of a geometric print. It's tiny little polka dots in pink, yellow, blue and white and green and green um, and I just think it's really lovely and would make a really nice marigold so hopefully those two will marry Hey, see what I did there? Marigold very well together! <laughs> um, and yeah so that has kind of jumped the queue because I, I got to make that for White Tree. The other brand that I work for is Simple Sew and I know I've talked about them a lot but over the last few months me and Claire who runs it have been really kind of amping it up and uh, I set up a new blog for it and uh, we've got 25 bloggers they're all amazing go to simplesewblog.wordpress.com and you'll see our lovely blog and my turn is coming up very soon so I need to crack on with this mate I'm really excited about it actually it's still in its wrapper. Um, so from Simple Sew itself is the trench coat pattern which I'm massively excited to make. I just need a nice coat that I'm not worried about wearing in the rain and it's quite lightweight so it's perfect to take me from season to season. Um, now I would have gone with the bright red because I love that but at the time I did have red hair. <laughs> <laughs> while I was choosing it. So I went with this, also from White Tree Fabrics because they're amazing, they give us lots of fabrics for our blogs and it's this gorgeous 
floral. I mean, it's a denim really, but it's, it's, it's denim coloured. But it's a stretch satin and it's beautiful coloured florals. I just absolutely love this. I think it will make such a beautiful trench coat. And I've always wanted a floral trench coat, so that fits very nicely into that plan. And can I just say, it's already going with things. <laughs> Which is so unlike me. Yay! <laughs> I'm turning a new leaf people um, but for my tutorial for the blog I'm showing you how to line this uh, trench coat because there isn't any instructions on how to line it so from Fabric Godmother um, they have kindly gifted us also um, for Simple Sew this lovely lining fabric so it's just uh, red and white polka dots but it's a lovely silky lining fabric so I just think that is going to make the best coat I'm so excited I wish I could just do everything now because I find it really hard choosing what to do first when I love all these projects so much but anyway this is going to happen very soon because my blog is due very soon now this fabric I bought two years ago it was just when I'd started sewing and I went to the knitting and stitching show and I saw this and I thought I don't know how to sew it but I've got to start because it's beautiful and it's polka dots but it's on a lovely clear what do you call that it's a it's a woven thing I don't know what any of my fabrics are. I need someone to come to my summer house and say, by the way, Gabby, that's not what you think it is. Um, but this is a woven thing. It's not stretchy. And it's got lovely kind of velour polka dots on it. And I have a real obsession with high necked tops, like Victorian style. So I thought I might make a high necked top with like lacy embellishment. So it would be a long sleeve top and then it would have like a lacy bit on the shoulder and then also around the edge of my neck. Um, so it's going to be like a Victorian blouse. Now I don't know what pattern to use because I can't find any patterns like this. Um, so I'm going to have to self draft it and it might be quite interesting. So by the time October comes around I might not have this to show you because it might just be a complete mess and I might be way too embarrassed. Um, but I'm hoping it will work out because I just think that's really beautiful. So last but not least um, is from the Sewing Weekender fabric swap I got this lovely soft 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 jersey knit and I just really want to make myself a cardigan because cardigans are something I wear a lot and although I knit them a lot I haven't actually just sewn one I think the muse patterns uh, Jenna cardigan is the one I'm going to look at for it because um, it's a really lovely it's got a nice gathered shoulder details really excited about all my makes I just love them and it will make a really lovely cozy cardigan because at some point the weather's going to get colder here and autumn will begin so I'm ready for it and I'm also knitting up a storm at the moment I'm knitting a lovely cardigan in electric blue um, and I've got a few more in my queue ready to go so I keep myself busy, but as I keep saying to everyone, it's better to be busy than bored. <laughs> so that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching as always. You guys are amazing and I can't wait to show you how I get on. Hopefully I'll get a lot done this month. Please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more if you're not already. And have a lovely, lovely week. Take care of yourself. 